So your research is in the southern part of Thailand and Songkla Lake. Can you tell us why that area is so important to study? Yeah, because Songkla Lake is the, uh, the source of living, of livelihoods for uh, almost two million people and is the land of uh, culture, the, the historical area and also is the part of our civilization. Yeah. And yeah, it's rich of biodiversity and also the cultural the activities. So it's very meaningful for the people in the South. What are, the, what are some of the specific challenges within this area? Yeah, actually the, the people in, in Songkha Lake has the, had to cope with a lot of challenges during the last few decades because of the over-exploitation of the of the natural resources uh, and also they have to deal with the, the problems about uh, social inequity and poverty and also the, the, the en environmental impacts of the exploitation. So, to, but this problem has been, uh, have been increasing during the last few years because of, uh, partly it's because of the climate change now people have to cope with more drought, uh, heavier floods, and also landslides. And uh, two years ago, the the <clears throat> the area were, some areas were damaged by the depressions. So this kind of uh, serious environmental threats uh, are getting more uh, severe during the last uh, few years. So people have to uh, come to terms with this by uh, getting together. Actually, they have been organized into uh, community uh, networks for uh, more than one decade. But uh, these networks have been working harder to cope with um, the, the more threatening changes. So they uh, work together, uh, especially in the Patalung province, which uh, uh, is which cover the the middle uh, the middle part of Songkla Lake, to to try to seek for the uh, the risk reduction and adaptative adaptation to management for the climate change. So people work together with the NGOs and also uh, we as a uh, because we are the uh, academics and also. We are also the social activists. So as the, the part of academic duty, we feel that it's important for us to play a, maybe just a supporting role to, the, to facilitate the, the, the learning process of the people there. So you're looking at communities that are responding to challenges. Can you give us uh, some examples of communities showing resilience and how they're going about responding to crises? Uh, the the communi community networks have uh, implemented some uh, short-term strategies. Uh, the first one is to, to set up a commun community level the network to, to cope with the, uh, the natural disaster just to, to help themselves when they, when they uh, come across with this kind of uh, emergency. Just like uh, they set up the system to to monitor the the, the climate change. I mean the weather, uh, the situation of the weather, and and get the warning system throughout the uh, from from the upstream to the downstream the part. And once uh, they come across that kind of heavy storm or the flood, they can uh, get uh, themselves to to help the other. And uh, they also set up the Data, that database system to, uh, to monitor the, the vulnerable areas and also the household and the, uh, what do you call that, the, the route, the, the safety route. So that kind of evacuation plan. Now they have uh, the radio, the short web radio system to, to keep monitoring the, the weather chain. That kind of things are the short-term strategy they have set up for 
uh, the changing situation, but they also aim for the long-term strategy, just like uh, uh, t uh, turning the monoculture uh, rubber plots into the rubber uh, agroforest to increase the uh, biodiversity, also to prevent the landslide because now to, there are many rubber plots in the mountain and uh, the shallow roots cannot uh, sustain the water at the runoff. So this is one thing and also they, they look for uh, the way to diversify the uh, three species to secure uh, their earnings and also to increase the, uh, the food security in the area. And also the fishermen to, uh, uh, get together to, to do more conservation and rehabilitation in the coastal area because uh, they are also concerned about the, the, decrease, uh, the decrease in fishery resources, this kind of thing. So these are the long-term strategy, but they also need to, uh, to mobilize this kind of strategy towards uh, the policy maker, just try to integrate the policy uh, to the provincial level to policy uh, process and this will be a, a very big challenge for them because they have to uh, involve multiple levels of organizations especially the government agencies and you know that Thai, Thai bureaucracy is very rigid in terms of uh, promoting and accepting the public participation so I think uh, it will be a very uh, challenging and exciting process for the people's movement to, uh, to look for the way to, to, to adjust ourselves to be in time with the changes and the threats.